Today we're going to be looking at the HDMI version of the Roku streaming stick. This is a rather unique and inexpensive product that competes with the Chromecast from Google and other stick-shaped streaming devices like Amazon's upcoming Fire TV stick. So before we take a closer look at the Roku streaming stick, let me try and explain what the stick really is. The streaming stick has built-in apps like a smartphone that let you play streaming videos from several different online media sources right on to your TV. It takes all the videos that you would otherwise have to watch on different websites and brings them together into this easy to use interface that can be accessed on your TV. In addition to video from popular sources like YouTube, Netflix and Amazon, it also gives you access to more than a thousand other channels. You can rent and watch movies online, check on the latest news and even listen to some streaming radio channels. It isn't however a replacement for your cable TV subscription since it doesn't have a whole lot of live content. And you'll still need high-speed broadband internet to use the device. It also needs a TV with an HDMI port, so it won't easily work with extremely old TVs. To put it simply, it's a device that makes navigating online videos easier and brings them onto the big screen. The device itself is actually pretty simple. The stick is about the size of a large USB flash drive, is purple in color, and is made from plastic. There's cooling vents on both sides and a reset button on the right-hand edge. There's a full-size HDMI connector on the front and this is what you plug into the HDMI port on your TV. The USB connector that powers the stick plugs into the back of the Roku and can be either powered directly from a USB port on your TV or through an AC wall outlet using the provided adapter. The LED indicator on the top face indicates the stick is powered on, the remote is comfortable to hold and the buttons are very well laid out. It's powered by two AA batteries that are also provided. Setup is pretty easy. The Roku setup menu walks you through the basic setup, which includes updating your software and entering some setup information. Part of the setup has to be done on an internet connected computer, so you will need a computer, tablet, or phone with internet access when setting it up. Once set up, you can either browse content from the channels you added when setting the Roku up, or add more channels to your list. Content from popular sources play back very well, and browsing content is also fairly simple. However, apps like Netflix do take a bit of time to load up and searching for content using a remote can be a reasonably frustrating experience. Roku does offer you the option of downloading the Roku app to your smartphone and then using your phone as the remote. This does simplify searching for content, but the remote app is a bit glitchy and does have a tendency to hang and lag at times, something Roku can definitely work on fixing through an update. In terms of content, there are some apps available for almost every web-based video streaming service on the planet. Some of the notable ones are Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, Hulu, YouTube, Pandora, and Crackle. You can also rent movies online from Roku's MGO service or Blockbuster On Demand. There are snippets of news and online news videos which you can watch for free. One of the most unique apps is the HSN app. HSN's app not only allows you to watch HSN live, but also allows you to shop for products being sold right from your Roku's remote. A pretty neat feature. Some regular TV channels will also allow you to stream live or stored content if you're already a subscriber to that specific cable service. There are also Roku-only subscriptions for live content from providers such as Dish Network. So as far as content is concerned, you'll have more than enough to watch. Now a common question we get is, should I get this or the Chromecast? Our answer on that one is pretty simple. For the extra money you would spend on this unit, you'd get a whole lot more features and convenience than the Chromecast. In fact, they're in most ways very different devices. The Chromecast is mostly a device to mirror content from your smartphone or tablet onto your TV. The Roku, on the other hand, is an easy way to directly access web video content on your TV. And the Roku's dedicated remote makes navigating apps on your TV much easier. So what do we think about the Roku streaming stick? Despite minor drawbacks, the Roku streaming stick offers amazingly good value for money. It organizes all your online streaming content extremely well, offers a wide selection of content, makes it very easy to sit back and access the content on the big screen, and does all this at an attractive price point. Definitely a product we would recommend if you watch most of your TV online. Hope you found this review useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe for more reviews.